Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So in the last class, we have seen the introduction of standard costing. What is standard costing, steps involved in standard costing, advantages we have seen. At the same time, we have seen a little bit introduction of variance. What is variance analysis also? Now today we'll see in depth about variance analysis only. Very important class today, please focus. But it's easy, not so tough. Okay, just focus with me. And now you know that uh, what is variance? Variance means nothing but the difference between the standard costing and actual cost. The difference is the variance analysis. Now in variance analysis, few things we have to remember. That is, important thing is that favorable or unfavorable balance. As I told you in the last class, standard costing is something is fixed. And also actual cost is actually what we have decided and what we are fixing it. Standard cost and actual cost. As I gave you the same example, let me tell you. So a standard cost is suppose say 100 rupees. Actual cost is say 80 rupees. The difference is the variance we know. Variance, okay. But whether it is a favorable or unfavorable, how to decide it? Standard cost is more actual cost is less then this is we say it as a unfavorable balance unfavorable means actual cost could not meet the standard cost it must be more than that if it is more than that if suppose actual cost is say uh, 120 then it would be favorable balance if it is 80 rupees unfavorable 120 favorable why favorable standard we have we know that standard cost is 100 but actual cost we are fixing it more we are getting more price 120 I mean this is favorable balance this is important thing please note down favorable and unfavorable second important thing is that you know that standard costing is mainly to control the cost to control the cost one of the best technique and controllable cost uncontrollable cost you have to Identify it. You have to note down. You have to take measuring steps. Controllable, uncontrollable. How do you decide? Mainly the controllable, untro uncontrollable costs are depending on the material and labor. Say material, excess usage of material and unnecessary wasting the material and dumping the material rather than the requirement. Everything is waste, useless, right? So this could be one of the reason and uh, labor also. Uh, not utilizing properly the labor, labor hours are not utilized properly and wages are paid more than the actual wages, standard wages, then that could be waste of material, waste of money. So there it is uncontrollable expenses. Controllable expenses also depending on the same only, where, uh, that is material and labor if these two can be managed and along with overheads if these three can be managed everything is controllable yes you can control when you don't when you can't manage it, it is uncontrollable who's going to decide it it is in the hands of whose mainly it is in the hands of a responsible person responsible officer who has given the authority to take care of this material and also the labor and overheads that person is having the authority he can decide he can control it if the person is not efficient inefficient then everything will be uncontrollable if the person is efficient then it is possible to control these expenses so this is about variance analysis now you must know that the variance analysis has different kinds of variance analysis one is the classification you can say classification of variances total four types of variance analysis means where we can control the cost the first thing is the direct material vari variance on material we can control a lot right so that is why direct material variance second one direct labor variance as i told you just now labor we can control the labor these two are main important then after that which comes to overheads cost variance overheads means extra expenses whatever we are spending 
or the production until it reaches to the customer that is called as overhead expenses. Overhead cost variance third one and lastly it comes to sales or profit variance. Sales variance or profit variance. These are the main classification of variances. Each and every variance we are going to discuss in depth. We have different formulas, we have different concepts of each variance. Suppose if we take direct material variance, we have different kinds of direct material variance. For different uh, direct material variance, we have different formulas also. We will go in depth of this direct material. In the same way, direct labor variance, overhead cost variance, these three mainly will do the calculations and problems. This we have a little bit a small touch of sales variance or price variance. Okay. Understanding classification of variance. Now today I will give you a brief introduction about the direct material variance. Only we will focus on this direct material variance. I have drawn already a table. Direct material variance. This is called as direct material cost variance also. Direct material variance. Direct material variance we can say it as a material cost variance. When it comes to the practicality we will be using material cost variance one of the important material cost variance. This is divided into two parts. One is material price variance, material usage variance. Okay, Material price variance, material usage. What is divided material cost variance is that is material cost NCV. Material cost variance is divided into two parts. Material price variance, MPV. and material usage variance MUV. So, this is material cost variance, material cost variance in short form we can say it as a MCV. Okay, Material price variance and material usage variance. This material usage variance is once again divided into two parts. One is material mix variance material yield variance. Material mix variance means MMV. Material yield variance means MYV. Are you getting please remember this very important. Material cost variance is divided into one two parts material price variance, material usage variance. Material usage variance is divided into two parts one is material mix variance and material yield variance five things are there. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Five types of problems we are going to work out. We have different formulas for each and every variance of material. Okay. Once if you work out this material related variances, five, five variances, we can check out it also. How we can check out? Here is the verification of MCV, material cost variance. How we can check it out? So, three ways are there. One is material cost variance is equal to material price variance plus material usage variance. This is one way. Second way is very, second one is MUV. Material usage variance is equal to material mix variance plus material yield variance. MCV, material cost variance. Material cost variance, you can check it in this way or this way. Two ways are there. If we have material price variance and material usage variance then we can go for this formula. If we do not have this material say material price variance is not there, we have material mix and yield then we can go for this one material cost variance is equal to MMV plus MYV. MMV means material mix variance plus material yield variance. See MUV is equal to MMV MYV. MCV is equal also same. MMV and MYV. Same, this is same, but for MUV and MCV, for both formula is same. When we work out the problem, then you can check your answer with this verification. Do not get confused, slowly we will work out. Slowly, step by step, we will go ahead and right now you remember this analysis of variance divided into so many parts then we are focusing only on direct material variance. Direct material variance we can say it as material cost variance also. 
that's divided into two parts material price material usage usage is divided into two parts material mix material yield and verification process is this to check our answer that's it take a screenshot or note down am i clear nothing to worry easy chapter understand it and then in exam don't leave it by the way did you check our channel playlist whatever may be your course it is useful for you there are many subjects with lot of time and energy i prepared it use it and don't forget to forward this videos stay connected practice well have a bright future